Hello viewers, in this video I am going to show about American Revolution, how it is happened. In this lecture is only based on your mains motive. So UPSC mains paper, GS paper 1 is covered under the world history topic on American Revolution. Let's begin our topic. So the Revolutionary War, it's also called as American Revolution. During 1775 to 83, it's, it's also known as the American Revolution arose from growing tensions between the residents of Great Britain's 30 North American colonies and the colonial government, which represented the British ground. Skimmers, skimmer, skirmishes between the British troops and the colonial military, militia men in Lexington and Concord in April 1775 hit off the armed conflict and by the following summer the rebels were waging in a full scale war for their independence. The France entered the American Revolution on the side of the colonists in 1778 and turning what had essentially been a civil war into an international conflict. After French assistance helped the Continental Army force the British surrender at Yorktown, Virginia in 1781. The Americans had effectively won their independence though fighting would not formally end until 1783. So more than a decade before the outbreak of the American Revolution in 1775, what are all the causes happened for the Revolutionary War? The tensions had been building between the colonists and the British authorities, the French and the Indian War. The Seven Years' War in 1756 to 1763 brought new territories under the power of the British Crown. But the expensive conflict led to the new and unpopular taxes and attempts by the British government to use their revenues by taxing the colonies as well as met with heated protest among many colonists who resented their lack of representation in parliament and the demand the same rights as other British subjects. The colonial resistance led to violence in 1770s and when British soldiers opened fire on a mob of colonists, killing five more persons in what, what was known as the Boston Massacre. Boston Massacre happened in 1770. After December 1773, when a band of Bostonians dressed as like a, a mock of Indians boarded British ships and dumped 342 chests of tea into Postan Harbor during the Postan Tea Party. An outraged parliament passed a series of measures and designed to resent the imperial authority in Massachusetts. Here, in response, a group of colonial delegates including George Washington of Virginia, John Samuel and Adams of Massachusetts and Patrick Henry of Virginia and John Jay of New York, etc. So met in Philadelphia, Philadelphia in September 1774 to give voice to their grievances against the British ground. This First Continental Congress did not go so far as to demand independence from Britain, but it denounced taxation without representation. It's very important, quote, taxation without representation. It's from which revolution? American Revolution, otherwise called as Revolutionary War as well as the maintenance of the British army in the colonies without their consent. So it issued a declaration of the rights due 
due to every citizens and including life liberty property assembly and trial by jury the continental congress voted to meet again in may 1775 to consider further action but by that time violence had already broken out on the night of april 18 1775 hundreds of british troops marched from postan to nearby concord massachusetts in order to chase an arms catch paul river and other riders sounded the alarm and colonial military men began mobilizing to intercept the red coats red coast and april 19 the local military men clashed with british soldiers in the battles of lexington and concord in massachusetts and marking the shot had round the world shot head round the world that significant the start of the revolutionary war now the war declare after declaring the independence in 1775 to 76 when the second continental congress convened in philadelphia philadelphia is digging that's the delegates including the new additions benjamin franklin and thomas jefferson voted to form a continental army with washington as its commander in chief on june 17 in the revolution's first major battle colonial forces inflicted heavy casualties on the british regiments of general william howe at bridge hill in postan the engagement known as the battle of bunker hill ended in british victory but lent encouragement to the revolutionary cause throughout that fall and winter washington's forces struggled to keep the british contained in postan but artillery captured at fort tinkroderia in new york helped shift the balance of that struggle in late winter the british evacuated the city in march 1776 with how however and his men howe and his men retreating to canada to prefer the major invasion of new york here by june 1776 the with the revolutionary war in full swing a growing majority of the colonists had come to favor independence from britain on july 4 the continental congress voted to adopt the declaration of independence drafted by a five man committee including franklin and john adams but written mainly by jefferson that same month didn't mind to crush the rebellion the british government sent a large fleet along with more than 34000 troops to new york in august howe's red coats routed the continental army on long island uh, washington was forced to evacuate his troops For, from new york city by september pushed across the delvera river washington fought back with a surprise attack in turlington new jersey on christmas night christmas night and won another victory at princeton princeton to review the rebels flagging hopes before making winter quarters at morris town the saratoga revolutionary war turning point uh, during 1777 to 78 the british strategy in 1777 involved two main prongs of attack aimed at separating new england that is where the rebellions enjoy the most popular support from the other colonies to that end general john burgoyne's army marched south from canada toward a planned meeting with 
Hawaii's forces on the Hudson River. The Burgoyne's men dealt a devastating loss to the Americans in July by retaking Fort Tico Garida, while Hawaii decided to move his troops southward from New York to confront Washington's army near the ship Chesapeake Bay. The British defeated the Americans at Brandwine Creek and Pennsylvania on September 11 and entered Philadelphia on September 25. The Washington rebounded to strike Germantown in early October before withdrawing to winter quarters nearly Valley Forge. Howe's move had left Burgoyne's army exposed near Saratoga, New York, and the British suffered the consequences of this on September 19 when an American force under General Horcherias Gate and defeated them at the Freeman's Farm in the first battle of Saratoga. New York and after suffering another defeat on October 7 at Bemis Heights that is second battle of Sar- Saratoga the Burgoyne surrendered his remaining forces on October 17 the American victory Saratoga work Saratoga would prove to be turning point of the American revolution and still made in the north and battle in the south so during 1778 to 81 the stalemate in the north and what is the battle in the south we are going to discuss now during the long hard winter at valley forge the washington troops benefited from the training and discipline of the prussian military officer baron friedrich von stepan on july on june 28 1778 as british forces under sir henry clinton attempted to withdraw from philadelphia to new york the washington's army attacked them near monmouth new jersey the battle effectively ended in a draw as the americans held their ground but clinton was able to get his army and supplies safely to new york on july 8 the french A fleet commanded by the Comet D. Steating arrived off the Atlantic coast readily to do battle with the British. A giant attack on British at New Point, Rivard Island in late July failed. And for the most part, the war settled into a stalemate phase in the north. Let's the Americans suffered a number of setbacks from 1779 to 1781 including the defection of general benedict arnold to the british and the first serious mutinies within the continental army in the south the british occupied georgia by early 1779 and captured charleston south carolina Carolina in May 1780 the British forces under the Lord Charles Cornwallis then began an offensive in the region crushing gates the American troops at Camden in mid August though the Americans scored a victory over Lyallist forces at King's Mountain in early October Nathaniel Green replaced the gates as the American commander in the south that December. Under the Green's command, the General Daniel Morgan scored a victory against the British force led by the Colonel Panastri Tarleton of uh, at Com- 
Cowpens, South Carolina on January 17, 1781 onwards. The Revolutionary War draws to a close in during 1781-83. By the fall of 1781, Green's American forces had managed to force Cornwallis and his men to withdraw to Virginia's Yorktown Peninsula near where the York River empties into Chesapeake Bay and supported by the French army commanded by General Jean Baptiste. D. Rochambeau, Washington moved against Yorktown with a total of around 14,000 soldiers while a fleet of 36 French warships absorbed prevented British Rhine's enforcement. Our equation tapped and overpowered. Cornwallis was forced to surrender his entire army on October 19. Climbing illness, the British general sent his deputy Charles O'Hara to surrender. After O'Hara approached Rochambeau to surrender his sword, the Washington gave the nod to his own deputy Benjamin Lincoln who accepted it. Finally, though the moment for American independence effectively trumped at the Battle of Yorktown, contemporary observers did not see that as the decisive victory yet. British forces remained stationed around Charles Charleston and the powerful main army still resided in New York. Though neither side would take decisive action over the better part of the next two years, the British removal of their troops from Charleston and Savannah in Africa in late 1782 finally pointed to the end of the conflict. British and American ne negotiators in Paris signed parliamentary peace terms in Paris late that November and on September 3, 1783. The Great Britain formally recognized the independence of the United States in the Treaty of Paris. At the same time, the Britain signed separate peace treaties with France and Germany. France and Spain, bringing the American Revolution to a close after eight long years. This is how the American Revolution is happened. After that, we will discuss how the unification of Germany and Italy in upcoming lectures. Let, um, yeah. This is how the American Revolution is uh, under the war, it's how it is to be close to draw and how the battle in the south and north stalemate is happened and the Sarat uh, Saratoga War 1 and 2 as well as we have to discuss the, how the uh, independence to be declared and after wa what is the causes of the revolutionary wars. These all are important topics under the uh, under the American Revolution. So, yeah, if you like my video, like it, share it, and comment it, subscribe it, and thank you for watching. Thank you.